So here we have the All Powers S2000 portable solar generator. Very impressive actually. You can put 500 watts of uh, solar. We're gonna fold these, fold these out. So, but can you fit it in there with the bag? We're gonna get into my thoughts on this unit now. So the first thing I wanna point out is I've been looking at the All Powers sort of website here and basically, Looking at the countries, they don't have Australia listed uh, here yet. So I basically just think you're buying through like the US version of the website. Everything is in uh, USD. I can't find an Australian website. So I'm assuming that you're buying it through here, but then they're obviously sending you a unit that has Australia plugs and things like that. And you might just have to do the conversions on the pricing but you can get the, the S2000 that I have here with their solar panel kits. Currently, it's $9.99 USD at the time of making this video. So yeah, it's actually really well priced, this unit compared to some of the other brands. And using this for the past two months, it's actually been a very, very good, reliable unit. But we're gonna get into all the features now and I'll show you exactly what you get with the S2000. I'm gonna turn the unit on just here. You hold down the power button. We're currently at 62% because we're gonna do some solar charging today. I do also have their solar panel kit that they've sent me with this unit. So on the front here, you do have your LCD display with a battery, picture of a battery there. And you do have uh, hours based on, obviously I'm not using anything, so that's based on how much time it has left. 62% we're on at the moment, and we've got a zero output of wattage. Some of the US units that I have seen uh, in this circle here, they actually had a like an RV plug. I wish we had a 15 amp AC plug just here. That would be really cool. But yeah, they've just blanked it off for the Australian version. Uh, XT60 for your solar input just there. You've got your DC button just here. So you just turn that on and all your little lights come up here, USB-A, Type-C, CarPort and that's also your Bluetooth function. There is an app for this unit as well. You've got your AC button just here. I think you gotta hold, hold down until this one comes on, yep. Obviously, this is a bit noisier than some of the other units, um, the fan inside of it, but again, it's all priced at a price point, and I think for the money, this is actually a really good option. We'll leave the screen up for now. Basically, you do have your all your uh, outputs here. So you do have four of them. This has a 2000 watt inverter built inside. Uh, the reason why the plugs are up the other way is actually for the fact that some blocks and things like that actually do hang down. So by flipping these up the other way, it gets them out of the way of the screen and stuff for you. So that way you can see what's kind of going on. So you do have four of them. You've got your little DC uh, 12 volt cigarette socket just here. You've got two USB-Cs and you've got four uh, USB-A ports just here as well. So moving around to the side of the unit, we do have a fan on this side, pulling air through the unit. Uh, we do have some great grab handles there on top. We've also got a fan on this side as well to keep it nice and nice and cool so yeah two fans in this unit uh, on the bottom you've got some rubber feet just here as well so we'll jump on their website and we'll have a look at the specs of this unit so 1500 watt hours of capacity this unit has has a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter 4000 watts of surge you can recharge the unit from 0 to 100% in 1.6 hours with AC plus solar input. Uh, battery, it's got 2,500 cycles to 80%. You can power 
a fair amount of uh, electrical 240 volt appliances with this thing here in Australia. So fridges, um, air fryers, microwaves, all that sort of thing. As long as you're not um, exceeding that 2000 watts. Um, so it can surge up to 4000, but you definitely just want to stay 2000 and below. Uh, for solar input, you can put 500 watts of uh, solar into this thing. It does have an MPPT solar controller built in, which is nice. So there's some of the basic sort of specs, everything that I'd sort of need to know about the unit. The construction of the unit is quite good. Um, I'm pretty impressed. It's up there with some of the other brands that are on the market. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. Um, the, the interface and things like that, you can definitely tell this is priced a little bit cheaper than some of the other units, uh, just, for the, just for the way that, that things work on the unit as well. So with the DC one, you press it, you just tap it and it comes on. With the AC, you have to hold down and then it comes on and then you'll hear the fan kick in. So there is a couple of little different little, little tricks to actually get this thing to operate. And then I think on this unit, um, with the, the app, with the DC button, you do have the Bluetooth function just there to be able to uh, connect it to... Uh, your phone. So here we have the All Powers uh, app just here. So what we're going to do is going to turn on our Bluetooth function. I'm going to connect to the unit. See if it comes up. See if it remembers it. So there we go. There it is there. So it's found it. It's connecting. So as you can see, the, the app is, it's, it's quite a basic sort of functional app. Everything is very responsive through the app. So I'm turning on the 240 volt. It's actually quicker to use the app than what it actually is using the button, so <laughs> go figure. Um, and then also the, the DC switch. So the app is very fast, um, 50 hertz to 60 hertz, so you can change it, which is, which is uh, strange that you can do that. I think that's like the first one that I've seen that you can actually change that. Um, input output gives you all that remaining power 62 percent but when you go actually into into the unit and things like that you can change the device's name if you want to but there's not really anything else there's no i can't see any way of updating software but uh for now the the app looks pretty basic so i'm guessing they're probably going to keep keep updating the app um so that way they can uh yeah be able to update the software in this thing if they need to obviously right now it's great works fine i've had no issues with this unit over the past two months so yeah that'd be something just to keep an eye on uh, so what comes with it so you do get a little bag here which has all your cables inside so you have your uh, cables for your solar you also have your 240 volt cable to plug it in at home uh, through the power point and then you do also get the car charger and things like that so that is all there in this unit we're going to try the car charger today. Um, most of the other brands I haven't actually tried, but we're going to actually we'll keep that out because we're going to charge. We're going to try the uh, try to charge it via the vehicle today. So it comes with that little bag there, and then also comes with this cool little protector as well, um, which the other brands don't. I haven't had the other one of the other brands actually send a protective case. So this is actually a nice little cover got little zippers down there on the side on the bottom you've got like this sort of black rippled sort of weatherproof material um, you do have some little padded sides on it so just nice you buy something like this you want to protect it so the fact that all powers is including something like that is very cool so that way you can uh, yeah put it in your bag and keep your keep this investment protected Let's uh, let's actually fit it in the bag and see how it see how it sits in here. See if the bag's actually big enough for it. Sometimes you get sometimes you get bags for products, and I definitely know that most swags and things you buy for camping or tents usually don't fit back in the bag. So. But we might be onto something here. This might actually fit, so which is pretty cool. Zipper up the side. It's actually a waterproof zipper too. So 
so that is actually it's snug but you definitely want it snug it's going to help with the water and possibly rain or anything else from actually getting into the unit if you were to forget about it and leave it outside camping that's actually a nice little unit and you can actually lift these flaps up here on the side to be able to put your hand in there to grab it to move it around so but can you fit it in there with the bag let's put the bag on top and try yes so you can fit that in there with all your accessories and away you go so there's that material on the bottom so very nice all powers good job okay so here we have the all powers uh, solar panels so I actually haven't set these up yet so we're going to do it together today for the first time so you got some little uh, some little clips just here it's like this uh, fluoro green material so you won't lose your solar panels on the back here oh wow got a bunch of accessories in here so we've got uh some alligator connectors we've got like this row of other barrel connectors we do have our solar input to a barrel connector and we do have our solar to like a mini mini anderson so you do have a little instruction manual in there too but solar panels are pretty straightforward just plug and play basically so pretty big on the back you do have these um straps so let me go ahead here and set these ones up Like so. I'm gonna pull our cord, pull our cord through so we can plug it in. So that's one set. I'm gonna set the other set up now. So I'm just looking at these all these cables and I can't connect this thing I can't connect this thing to the actual unit unless that section there pulls apart let's have a quick look no it doesn't seem to so I can't actually test the solar panels I'm sorry guys uh, I think someone has, someone from All Powers has accidentally forgot to include the correct cable for me to use these panels with this unit. I think that I've figured out what's actually happening. So they've accidentally included two of the uh, car input instead of having one that would have the solar input connectors for me to actually put it uh, to the unit so as you can see I have two car chargers just here so I think someone in the factory has accidentally these things happen has accidentally put in uh, another set another car charger instead of the actual uh, PV connectors on this end to me can so I can connect a, a solar panel obviously so these things happen Maybe I can sacrifice this and cut this up and put PV connectors on the end. So I might go do that now. That way I can test out the panel and show you guys how much solar input we can get. So yeah, I may sacrifice this cable here uh, to be able to show you guys. These things, it's an accident. These things happen. Uh, I'm not going to hold it against all powers. Uh, it's obviously a human error um, putting these in the package. But yeah, things happen. So. Let's sacrifice this and we'll go and put some PV connectors on the end of this and that way we can uh, yeah, test out the solar panels on the S2000 unit. Okay, so we've done a little bit of modifying. So what I end up doing is grabbing one of the cables that was actually comes with the solar panels and I cut the uh, barrel connector off and I've just simply temporarily joined this together um, for the moment so that way we can actually test the solar coming in 
Now, another thing that's been putting me off doing this video is that the fact that it has been raining every single day for the past few months. So it's a wild and wet Saturday morning here at home. It's an every day I've had off, it's been raining and not been sunny. So it's been really hard to give you guys an outlook on what, what there's actually the all powers can actually produce. So the 200 watt panels are currently producing in these conditions, which aren't fantastic for solar. Be great if the sun was out completely. But it's 2 p.m. right now here in Australia, and we are putting in 64 watts at the moment coming into the unit. I will admit these panels aren't the best quality ones that I've seen on the market. These are definitely some of the uh, look like some of the kind of lower end spec sort of panels. Uh, there's some other brands that I have reviewed here in the past that do have very nice panels with um, some new technology on the skin and stuff here on the face and I think these panels are kind of a bit a bit dated if I'm to be 100% honest. So right now we're producing 93, we've just had the sun come out briefly, 94. I'm just going to keep monitoring this. So just under 100 watts with the 200 watt panel just here. So obviously if we link them together at the moment we'd be producing 200. But let's see if we can get it to crack over, crack over that 100, that 100 mark. Oh, we're at 99. And we just had the fans kick on. So now that that sun's getting a bit more bite into it, it's come out from behind the clouds. We're definitely starting to pump the power. So yeah, the, the panels work. They do their job exactly what they're supposed to. I just think the fit and finish, there's definitely some nicer panels on the market at the moment so yeah we are starting to crank up there 110 111 112 I'll see how high it goes so currently producing 128 watts obviously you can hear the fan let's put the mic there to the side of it Cranked up to 131, so we are definitely going up as that sun's sort of coming out, giving us a bit more bite here on the on the panels. Up there with one of the noisiest on the market that charge, but again, these are definitely priced at a point cheaper than most of the other stuff on the market. So if you if you can deal with a few of these little things, then yeah absolutely go for it it's been a great unit for me so far using it every day in the shed you've run a bunch of appliances but we're going to go and plug some stuff in now and we're also going to test the car charging on this as well okay so we're here in the raptor I'm just going to start it up we've got the uh plug here into the cigarette port so we'll see how many watts the all powers unit puts in from the car charger 108 watts coming in through the 12 volt car charger here in the Raptor. Okay, so with the unit, with the obviously 240 appliances, so this is what I was talking about with the, this is my laptop charger. So with the uh, obviously ports being upside down, it allows you to have full access to the front of the unit, actually protrudes up instead of down in front of the unit. So if this was turned around the other way, obviously then it would limit you with the USB-Cs and things like that. So the fact that they've turned that upside down is a pretty, pretty smart idea. I'm gonna turn the AC power on now. Obviously hair dryer here. Many people have a hair dryer in the house. We'll put it on full, full heat mode. We are drawing 1800 and now 1900. 1910 and that's getting pretty hot now so can run a hairdryer so i'll unplug the hairdryer uh, you can also use it for other bricks and stuff so i've got my gopro batteries here charging at the moment off the unit and then also have my laptop here plugged in jump online check them out everything will be in the description if you want to look out the all powers products this is the S2000, and so far with me, it's been very impressive. I've used it uh, every day in the shed. I've been running a Dremel and stuff from it. Also my shop vac as well. Been plugging the shop vac into the front of it, 
and obviously vacuuming up the messes that I've been making with the Dremel lately, which are things like this. This is a Starlink mount that I have done uh, for another flat dish. So yeah, it's been a, been a great unit for the past few months and thank you to all powers for sending it out to me. I really appreciate it and giving me that bit extra time to get this review out for you guys and give it a good thorough going over before I suggest to purchase this unit. So yeah, everything in the description, go and check it out. All powers S2000.